And supposedly this overnight train is like no other in the world, from its sleeping setup, to the views, to the overall train in general. Okay, I seriously feel like I'm in a different world right now. Everybody and welcome back to Japan and an incredibly exciting night. You see right now I'm in Tokyo headed to Takamatsu and when I was looking up how to get to Takamatsu I came across something incredibly unique of the last run-in overnight train in Japan. And supposedly this overnight train is like no other in the world from its sleeping setup to the views to the overall train in general. So right now I've just arrived at Tokyo Station and I have a tiny bit of time before boarding the train so I think I might try to find one of those like famous ikiben. It's like a train bento box here in Japan. They're supposedly incredibly good and I've actually never tried one. So let's go find the best one. So all inside here there's these bento shops. But supposedly there's like a massive shop here. So I'm going to try to find that one. Holy bento box dreamland. Oh my gosh. Wow, it's so cool. So they have all of these bento boxes up here. It's a little bit late at night, so there are a lot that are sold out, but these are so cool. Like, just take a look at these covers here, too. So this one's some type of meat and pickled vegetables. This one looks to be some sort of like fried pork. Ooh, this one seems super interesting. It's like fish, egg, some veggies, and the cover is so cool. So I think I'm gonna get this one because I really don't know <laughs> what's in that, but it looks pretty colorful and good. I have had dinner, but I think I'm gonna get two because these look so cool. This one's like... Bunch of fish, a prawn, maybe even more over here too. Oh, this one seems pretty cool. It's like all the different appetizers that you can get. For the second one, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Hello. Thank you. Have a great night. Got the food. Now let's go find our train. All right, the train has arrived. All right, so welcome to the train, guys. This is so cool. I don't know how to describe this train other than like, it's a combination of both that Harry Potter scene where they're in that magic bus. And also when I continue going down the cars, it's almost like I'm a kid again and I'm in the Polar Express. Like with the elevated bed in here, we're in kind of like business class. And then like crossing into here, we're in first class and there's like economy class way back there and then where I'm sitting it's like I don't even know what you want to call that class but it's the one that has the most character and I'm not gonna lie this train is tiny like my head just keeps on hitting the ceiling so there looks to be 14 cars here going in the basement to the top floor there and in the middle of the train ride half the cars split to Takumatsu and half the cars split to Izumo so definitely got a remember that so I'm not on the Azumo side. <laughs> now normally the bathroom is kind of a you know not the best subject to show on a train but honestly I think this is the cleanest train bathroom I've ever seen. Like the floor is spotless, the toilet's decently nice, somehow the leather from the baby chair is still intact. Everything is super shiny. Might be a little bit weird but I'm incredibly impressed by this bathroom. I don't want to go overboard on like the cleanliness slash like niceness of the bathrooms here but Honestly, like this sink, it, it doesn't look like a train sink. It legit looks like a hotel sink. Now, although these rooms are really cool, I'm super excited to show you guys the setup that I have. This is my car. So freaking cool. Welcome everybody to the capsule. Okay, so I am for... B. That's home. So you gotta take off your shoes. <sighs> Let's check this place out. <laughs> the other one, yeah. Okay, so we just started our journey here, so let me just walk you guys through kind of 
what this is exactly. How it works is everybody gets their like own little spot on the floor and then there's this tiny divider here dividing each person's capsule. They had a nice little spot for some water and like a very, very minimalistic table. We also have some sheets right here and what looks to be like a pillow cover. It looks like this is the only privacy that you get, this like little shade. This is like super cozy. You have like a reading light here, a nice little light here, air conditioning, and your tiny little window here with a shade. Let's keep that open. Now let's test the comfortability slash length in here. I mean, yeah, not bad. I'm 6'3 and my legs fit the entirety of the space. It might not look too comfortable, but honestly, like it seems like it has like a little give to it, so. I think it'll be all right. It would appear that some people are starting to go to sleep, so I'm gonna go eat my bento box. Welcome to like the little lounge slash dining car, which will be our setting for the bento box tasting. I can't explain this, but I feel like I'm weirdly living out one of my dreams right now. Oh my gosh, and wow, is this beautiful. Looking at this bento box, it looks more like art than it does food. There's four different sections of food, one being an area of little bites ranging from a nice little omelet there to a mushroom to carrots cut like flowers. The next area looks to have tiny little white fish with shrimp combined with rice and some absolutely juicy looking pork and also it looks to be like a tiny little fried chicken there. And then it looks to be like a piece of nori with calligraphy on it. I mean, I don't think I've ever appreciated the look of food before for that much. That is absolutely stunning. Try that omelet first. Oh yeah, that's good. Interesting combination of the rice and fish. Got my little like fried chicken there. And that is totally not fried chicken. <laughs> what is that? Is that, is it beef? All right, let's try some of that pork there. You know, whenever you have kind of like a fast food from like a train station or an airport, kind of the risk is getting a dry piece of meat. But this one, if you take a look at it, it's fresh, it's moist, it's perfection. I really don't know what that is. A very juicy piece of tofu. <laughs> So we're like continuously making stops, so that's why I haven't gone to sleep yet, but I'm pretty sure this was the last stop and like my eyes are just, I'm ready to sleep, man. Like everything is trippy around me. I just see the movement of the train here, like me going forwards, the train going backwards, and I'm just like, so let's go make our bed and yep. five hours or so, honestly, slept super well. Didn't really wake up at all in the night. There's no stops, I, I think there's no stops, at least I didn't hear any stops. The ground made for a decent place to sleep on and the sheet was like almost a tiny little mattress. So zero complaints from the comfortability side. But now it's about 525, 15 minutes before the sunrise. So let's go see if we can get a first glimpse of the outside world here. <sighs> Nothing like Japanese vending machine coffee in the morning. <laughs> these tiny little towns wake up to this beautiful sunrise over the lush mountains here. This is so freaking cool. I think you guys know what time it is. Bento time. So 
each one of these quadrants has like something completely different on it. Some sort of like sweet potato cutlet, a rice salad roll with I believe something stuffed in the middle there, a pepper with some noodles, nice little pepper to ham and rice, some pork here, and of course the thing that seems to be in every bento box. Starting with that sweet potato cutlet. That is the savory and subtly sweet dessert that everybody needs. That beast of an egg right there. How is that still so moist and fresh? Wow. I've never had something that resembles spaghetti in the morning before, but let's roll with it. Welcome everybody to Takamatsu. Goodbye Sunrise Seto. You were amazing. And oh my gosh, what an absolutely incredible experience that was. I've never experienced such a magical, beautiful, and also just culturally enriching journey at the same time. Really, if there was one word to describe that journey, unbelievable. Unbelievable.